Now, the only bad thing about online assessments is that some students during this school year, the 2021 school year, felt like a student who was at home was an off day. So if I said it was an off day, I meant like off from the normal schedule. They heard it, they interpreted it as being not having to do any work. So for me to go ahead and put a quiz or a test, I got to the point where I had to start putting tests online, actual summative assessments, that it was not like they shouldn't have to do that while they were at home. No, 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 they're at home. They, they're not at school. They shouldn't be doing work. No, they're still a student. They, they still have to learn. And so there, there were some students that conveniently forgot. There were times when internet outages were a thing. As a teacher, I always err on the side of an uncontrollable circumstance. Oh, okay, so your power went out, fine. Uh, your internet wouldn't connect, okay, I've had that problem before too. They can always give them an extra opportunity. And if they decide to cheat, the, the quizzes I gave them only counted for about 20% of their overall grade. And their homework bundles that they were turning in were five times the amount of points. So there are ways for me to go ahead and not truly worry about that. but in the same case, to get students motivated to learn on their own at home, especially taking quizzes and, and to make sure that they're not, you know, all sitting in one room and one person does the quiz and then tells them the answers and then they can all log in, they'll find a way. But for me, if a student does not participate online, I can see them again next time, maybe not point them out but say, hey, only five of you took the quiz online yesterday. I need that data. You need to know how you're doing. You have until tonight at midnight to get that turned in. If not, I'm going to be emailing home. That's another way I can use technologies. Phone calls, my plan time was at 9 a.m. I doubt a parent wants me calling them at 9 o'clock in the morning to let them know that little Johnny or Susie has not turned in their 10-point quiz. I can email them, though. Like, hey, I'm just concerned. I wanted to make sure that Johnny's doing okay. He had an online quiz he was supposed to do. He has until tonight to finish that with no repercussions. Could you please help me with this? Usually if you come at the perspective of it's low stakes, even if it's a high stakes thing, let them know mistakes can happen. Typically I get a good response from all of that.